Hi everyone, Grey Power 60 here. Oh my god, how sweet. Um, Lisa from Lisa's Halls got my pocket letter I sent her. How embarrassing I feel that that one piece is missing. Lisa, I apologize. I have your, oops, it's not, oh, it's right here. I have your card with the missing piece in it. I feel so bad. So I'm hoping that uh, you'll forgive me for that. I cannot believe that it fell out. Always, always put a sticky or a washi across the top because when you're folding it, and, and I was doing four at once or five, mailing them out, and uh, I was checking my floor and everything to make sure that no one else's fell out. I was so embarrassed. It's late. I just got home from babysitting at my daughter. She had soccer tonight. Her husband's in Toronto for a week with her, his brother. Some kind of, I don't know what. So, um, I had shown you my haul earlier that I had done with all these wonderful little goodies, little goodies. And I brought over to show my daughter some of these, um, craft things that I've been doing because I wasn't sure if she was watching me or not on because she doesn't watch all the videos and if they're too long for, for her she doesn't always have the time so these were all the goodies that I had um, picked up and the ink I'm so pleased to get the ink I got the blue and the cocoa and the rust along with my other ones there I've got a pocket letter to mail tomorrow to Cheryl, so I'm hoping Cheryl will get this. Um, I had made, uh, a while back she had done a video um, on being a Cincinnati Reds fan, and um, I, at that time I was just getting started on my crafts. This was a while ago, it was like in the spring. Anyway, um, so she really liked the... Um, paper clips that I had done and I had made some so I made some specially for her I had made her I think two or three um, Cincinnati Reds um, paper clips and I wonder if I have an, no, I don't have an example handy um, and she and I mailed it to her and she never got it and uh I had asked her just last week if she did ever receive it because I had never seen anything on a video and I just wondered, you know. So I have the same address, Cheryl. I sure hope you get this pocket letter. It's the exact same address because I have it written down. And unless I made a typo, but you know, I can't see how that would happen. Um, it should still at least get to your town if nothing else. However. That being said, I'm hoping that my mail gets through. Lisa's went through. I knew it would take a week. It said it would, they said when I mailed it last Thursday, it would take a week. So, Lisa, sorry, sweetheart, I feel so bad that you didn't, oops, that you didn't get that middle top pocket there, which has Eve, because the first one says Hallows, this one says Eve, and on the back of it, I had a little, um, it almost looks like a fence, but it's not kind of a spooky thing. And I had wrapped some ribbon, some uh, Halloween ribbon on there. And actually, yes, I can open this up. You said you didn't have any Halloween washi. Oh, oh no, it's in all my Halloween stuff. I'll, I'm going to open up the envelope and I'll reseal it and I'll throw in a little bit more of the uh, Halloween washi that I have so that you'll have a little bit more. Again, I feel so embarrassed. How could you send something to somebody and it's not complete? Anyway, what can I say? What can I say? So, um, my apologies are out there and shame, shame on the postal system in the States for not getting Cheryl's cute little, um, uh, paper clips uh, and I feel bad for her because they were so cute and they would have been so timely because um, it was just the way things worked out but anyway what can you do 
maybe she'll get it in like five years from now and look back and go, what the heck is this? That Wouldn't that be hilarious? Or in 20 years or something and go, oh my God. Anyway, so tonight I am working on my 8x10 message center and I picked the, um, they're kind of sparkly. I don't know if you can, oh, there you go, a little bit. See, they're quite sparkly. Um, my little message center. And I have this paper that I'm going to use for covering some of my goodies. Let me, I'm not prepared at all, at all, at all, because I just got home from my daughter's, happened to go and see Lisa's Paul's um, video, and I felt, so... oh, you know, it's like sending somebody that you love a birthday card without a gift or without a note or without a signing it or something. I don't know. Anyway. So I've got these and I'm just looking to see. I have a black one. I have a black one here. I, I'm just trying to decide. I think the blue one would look nicer. So I'm going to put not sure where yet. We're still thinking. We're still creating. And then I have this little message pad to put on here. I also want to put a little post-it note on there. I want this to be a, a really sort of complete little message center. So, I, I mean, I don't have it covered yet, but you know what? Let's move this down. Sorry about that. I got that darn light on because I've got a basket full of goodies here. Um, so, let's turn off this light. Alrighty. It's going to glare from the other light up there, but at least. So, you know, it, the thought pattern on this is to try and get all of the goodies that I want on here. Um, so I'm going to sit this down. I hope you can see it a little bit. So, and the calculators work. I was sure of that. Whether to put a calculator up at the top, put this memo pad here, maybe have some post-it notes here. I also have a calendar that would be a little bit smaller. I could put that there. I mean, I would cover it like I have with the others. Um, so this is the thought process that kind of go through things. Um, or I could put one of these posted notes with the lines. I hope you can see that. See, so it's got the lines. So I've got blue here. So the blue and the blue. I, I mean, you know, it's just a thought pattern. And then I also have blue post-it notes. The blue and the blue doesn't go. That blue, this blue would be okay. I mean, this is just a sample. And then of course I've got these, oops, on the floor, that's all right. And then I've got these little note pads that I will recover. and put on there, even though these are very pretty, but they don't match what I want up here. So I could put the pen here, just grab any old pen just to give an example. So I could put a pen here with this note, and these are actually papers, they're not um, stickies. So I could put in the notepad here with this and post-it notes maybe. I also have smaller post-it notes, they're not in this one, they're in the other one up there, but I'm not going to go get them right now. I could use pink. I could do this. I could do this. You know, so it's a matter of kind of eyeing things around and saying, okay, how do I want this set up? to be a real message center. Um, 
these pads are a little bit big for the telephone messages, but they also are handy. So, you know, maybe not use the calculator and use the notepad and also cover this, cover this so that it will be. Um, and then use the smaller little sticky notes at the bottom or post it notes. So this is basically my, my see here's another one, a note one, but I don't like the covers, so I changed the covers on those. So that just gives you an idea of sort of my whole thought process of going through things and trying to decide how I want them and maybe use these butterflies on there or you know any kind of embellishments. And then I also have little bling that I can decorate around and make it a little fancier. So that's what I'm up to tonight is tackling the big one. It's going to be a big job. I'll show you when I'm done um, because right now uh, I've got too many things on the go and I, I will take way too long to decide all of this stuff on how to do it. Um, I also have to find my uh, template for this. Um, basically what I did was I looked at this, I grabbed my ruler, and then I decided, okay, so in order to get the lengths of it, I looked at it here and I went, okay, so this is nine and a half then there's about an eighth of an inch here, so it'll be nine and uh, do, 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 do. it'll be one, two, nine and five eighths plus another inch. Now I also want it to tuck under a little bit, so I'll make that an inch and a half. Okay. Then when I score it, I'll be scoring it at uh, four and five eighths, and then four and three quarters, and I'll be doing the same thing again up there, up here, and then scoring it at one inch. So that's how I cover these little note packages that I get. This is this is um, my. This is how I do that. Now this is new. This is something I don't, I have not worked on yet. So I'm looking at five and an eighth by four and a quarter. So five and an eighth, so I'm going to have to double that if I want it to go on both sides, if I want it to go around. Plus I'm going to have to include another, um, actually a little bit more than an eighth. So it probably, yeah, no, it's about an eighth. It's an eighth. So I need an eighth here and an eighth here if I want to flip it up, or depending on how I want this covered. So that's how I figure out how to cover things. Um, there are a lot of videos on internet that show you how to do fancier, more elaborate covers, but to me, that would be great if it was a gift for like one person or two people or whatever, but if I'm doing this, say, as a, a message center and I want to sell it, supposing I want to sell this, um, then I would have to calculate all the prices, and if I started using more and more and more uh, embellishments and things, then the price would go up, and I don't want them to be that expensive. Um, my daughter was telling me uh, she is on a site for her um, her little suburb of where she's living. Um, they have a site um, on Facebook, and it's um, something to do with um, take something and give something. Take something and give something. And I'll explain what that I mean by that. Um, they have a list of people on there, and people will put a wish list of things that they need or that they want. And then they'll have a list of things they want to get rid of. 
things that are in their house they don't want to get rid of anymore. So, um, supposing. Supposing my wish list was to have a paper cutter of some kind, you know, a stamp or something, you know. I mean, I'm just talking crafts. She is talking about everything like baby clothes or uh, cribs or uh, typewriters or sewing machines. I mean, it's not just little things. These are big items. And what they do is if somebody has one to give away, then they might find something that they want. Um, and it's kind of a, an exchange and there's no value to anything. Um, so in other words, if I'm giving away a sewing machine, an older model sewing, or whatever, a new one, I don't know. If I'm giving away a sewing machine, the things I want don't necessarily have to include that price. It has nothing to do with prices or costs. It's totally a share thing. It's totally, uh, I have a table and you have a coat and well, let's exchange. You want a coat, I want a coat from you, and you need a table from me. And it may not be the same person. Um, I may have a sewing machine. I'm just using this as an example. I may have a sewing machine to give away. And on my wish list, I may have, um, say, uh, like I said, punch cutters for, for crafts. Supposing that's on my list. And maybe I need um, a new leash for my dog. Or maybe I need um, a lamp. Okay. So we put that on the list and we post, post it out there. And then people will contact you through Facebook. People will contact you and say, I really need a sewing machine. So you give them the sewing machine. And, and there could be 10 people. So your choices can be totally random. Um, how they pick the names, I don't know. I mean, everybody must have their own thing. Maybe they use random org. I don't know. Something like that. Anyway, um, and then someone else might notice on my wish list that I need a dog leash. And they'll say, listen, I have one here. My dog doesn't use it. It's not good for it. Come and pick it up. It'll be ready for you. And... Um, the funny thing is, is in front of my daughter's front door on the little, on the stoop that she has, you have to kind of walk in past her garage. And I mean, it's, it's a beautiful neighborhood and, uh, she has a bench and she has two bags sitting there and one is for one person and one's for another. And it's totally an honest sharing. Um, people want to purge their homes and get rid of things and maybe they want to pick up something else. Maybe they have nothing on their wish list. Or maybe they have only things on their wish list and nothing to give away. I don't know quite how it works, except that's the way she explained it to me. I think that is absolutely wonderful. Just wonderful. Um, but it's, a, it's confined to her area. And I am just outside sort of the boundary lines of uh, where she lives. Otherwise, I would definitely post things that I want to get rid of. So that was just a little, I thought I would share that. That is, a, I think that is wonderful. Um, it is totally, like I say, it's within their community. Um, and uh, I think it's great. She's also given me a few other tips about my crafts and what I could do. So I'm looking forward to perhaps looking into that. And that is all my babbling for tonight. Again, Lisa, I do apologize. I feel so bad that I had somehow slipped out when I was mailing it, that middle card that has Eve on it, Hallow's Eve, and, and of course the ribbon that went with it. I'm sending it tomorrow, love. Uh, you get it by next Friday or Thursday, I would think. It usually takes four or five days to get so I'm really, really pleased that she got hers. And Cheryl, I'm sending yours out from Cheryl's Corners. Check out our girls, Lisa, Lisa Halls, and uh, Cheryl from Cheryl's Corner. Uh, great ladies. Love them both. Um, we have so many wonderful friends. I am still wondering what's happened to Sarah and Douglas Woolley. Uh, we 
they have not been on for a month. Um, I was checking, I think it's been three weeks since she's, they've been on. I hope they're okay. I mean, my prayers go out to them. I hope everything's fine. Um, our little monkey Erickson's back home. I hope he's fine. Um, you know, we miss their face. We miss them a lot. So I'm hoping that uh, all's well with them. I left a note on Facebook. I haven't got a reply. Many of us have left notes to say, you know, hope everything is fine. I hope you're okay. Uh, we're behind you. We support you. We love you. So we're just hoping something different. Sarah and Douglas, I hope everything is okay with you guys. And we miss you. Um, and we, you know, we really appreciate just the, hey, hi, how you doing? We're fine, just busy. Um, and hopefully, you know, God willing, everything is fine at their end. Because it's, it's kind of worrisome for most of us to kind of stop all of a sudden and not do your videos. So, and I do so many of these. So, guys, if I'm not on for a week, there's something wrong with me. Because I'm, you know, up 2, 3 in the morning doing these. And I don't mind posting them right away. So, just a heads up. If you don't hear from me in a week, there's definitely something wrong. Uh, because I would definitely come on and say, I can't do this for a while or whatever. Uh, anyway, that was just my two cents worth. Again, I'm going to tackle this. I'm going to think about it. And of course, I do, you know, I go through things. I'll probably cover these, these notebooks, um, the notebooks and the um uh, post-it notes. I will cover those all up and then try and arrange things, maybe bling up the um, calculator a little bit because it's kind of boring. So we'll maybe bling her up a little bit, add a little something to it, make it look really cute. And I'll show you my final product when I'm done. It might take me a couple of days because, and then again, once I get started on something, I don't want to put it down. And I'm dying to try all these new, new little technique things that I found out. Um, I'm just having a lot of fun. And uh, I should say bye for now. It's way too long. I've been just babbling on. And um, don't forget to like, to comment, to share, and to subscribe. And thanks to all of you who do come back uh, time after time to watch my silliness and Sometimes I have creative days and sometimes they're just not quite there. But I'm having fun and I'm enjoying this totally. I'm absolutely immensely enjoying this. I am still loving. I'm still loving this. I'm still loving this. Oh my God. This is just, I, I have it sitting right there and I see it every day and I'm thinking, wow. You know what would be really cool? is if I could have taken this top off and put something inside, you know, like a fish. <coughs> love this. Absolutely love it. Um, there was a couple of other colors. I may go back and have a look. I may go back and have a look. Um, that's it for now. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you again soon. Bye for now.